In problem number 32 of section 3.5, we use a technique outlined in a couple of previous problems to evaluate the limit as x goes to 0 from the right of sine of x uh, raised to the power tangent of x. Uh, now, instead of computing this directly, we're going to first compute the limit of the natural log of sine of x to the tangent of x um, as x goes to 0 from the right. Uh, this will be equal to um, the limit as x goes to 0 from the right of tangent of x uh, times the natural log of sine of x. And we got that just by using uh, the laws of logarithms. So this is equal to the limit as x goes to 0 from the right. Instead of writing tangent of x, we want something that we might be able to apply L'Hopital's rule to. So if we write 1 over cotangent uh, is the same as tangent. So we'll re rewrite this as the natural log of sine of x over uh, cotangent of x. Now we first need to check to see if we can actually apply L'Hopital's rule. So as x goes to 0 from the right sine uh, we'll go to 0, and natural log as of x as x goes to 0 uh, is negative infinity. And in the denominator, uh, we see that cotangent uh, is cosine over sine. As x goes to 0, cosine will go to 1, sine will go to 0, so uh, the entire expression will go to positive infinity. So we can indeed use, um, use L'Hopital's rule. And we can also see here why we're taking the limit as x goes to 0 from the right. Because if we approach 0 from the left, then uh, sine of x would be negative, but the natural log isn't defined for negative numbers. So next we apply L'Hopital's rule. See that the limit as x goes to 0 from the right is, uh, we'll have 1 over sine of x. And we need to apply the chain rule, so we multiply by the derivative uh, of sine of x, which is cosine x. And then we take the derivative of the denominator, which is negative cosecant squared of x. And we can rewrite this as the limit as x goes to 0 from the right of cosine of x over sine of x times, uh, well, let's actually let's pull out a minus sign first. And this will be times 1 over cosecant, but cosecant is uh, 1 over sine, so this will just be times sine of x, or sine squared of x. And sine of x cancels out, and we get minus, uh, this is equal to minus the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of cosine of x sine of x. Now, we can go ahead and just substitute in x equals 0, since both of these um, both parts of the product are defined. We don't have to worry uh, about this function being undefined anywhere near 0, or anywhere at all for that matter. So this is equal to cosine of 0 times the sine of 0, which is 1 times 0, or just 0. But we have to remember that this is the limit of the natural log of the function that we're actually uh, trying, to take the, um, trying to take the limit of. So we actually need to apply uh, the exponential function to both sides. So in, it's justified in a, in a future problem. If we take the natural log of this side, it turn, or excuse me, the exponential of this term here, uh, it's actually equal to the limit of the exponential of this function, which uh, exponential and natural log are inverse functions, so they cancel out. 
So we see that the limit of x is 0 from the right of now applying the exponential function sine of x to the tangent of x is equal to, now we need to apply the exponential on the right hand side, which we found uh, was 0. So e to the 0 is just 1. 